Hi gang, I'm my radar meteorologist Matt Capucci with a quick cyclone update for parts of Western Australia. Tropical cyclone Ilsa is beginning to make its southward curve and will rapidly intensify until its point of landfall on Thursday night. The storm began as a tropical low over the weekend north of the Timor Sea. Then it worked west-southwest and will make landfall soon as a Category 3 or Category 4 equivalent cyclone. Thereafter, it will degenerate into a tropical rainstorm as it drifts inland towards Alice Springs. Here's how it looked on infrared satellite imagery late Wednesday night. For starters, notice how much purple there is in the region of the central dense overcast. That means cloud tops are about minus 80 degrees Celsius, extremely cold. Now, using weather balloon data, we can ascertain that storm clouds would have to be about 60 16,600 meters, so more than 10 miles high, to be that cold. That means this is a tall, powerful cyclone. If we look at the cyclone over the past few days, you'll also notice a stubborn bubble in the middle of the convection, or the thunderstorm activity. That's an overshooting top. It's where air is moving upwards so quickly that it can't stop at its equilibrium level, or the height at which it should stop rising based on density. So it makes a bulge. You can spy ripples emanating from that overshooting top as waves propagate through that tropopause, or the ceiling of the lower atmosphere. We call those gravity waves, again, kind of density ripples. Now, Ilsa's core is crackling with lightning, signifying an intensifying storm. Using radar from Broome, we can see some of the outer rain bands beginning to approach the coast. But then notice the eye wall visible in the top left of the loop. It's super far from the radar, but it's very tall, so we can just barely see it. Ilsa is also efficiently evacuating exhaust air out the top, especially southward. That means it can ingest more warm, humid air from below and intensify. It's also over water temperatures warmer than 30 Celsius and slightly above average, which aids in its intensification. Ilsa will make landfall between Port Hedland and Broome after a period of rapid intensification. Winds will likely gust to near 170 or 180 kilometers per hour at the immediate coastline within that core of the storm. A storm surge of a meter or two is also possible. Then it will work inland, slowly losing its wind as a core of low pressure begins to fill in. Heavy rain will accompany the system all the way to Alice Springs. A general 10 to 12 centimeters of rainfall is likely at the coastline where Ilsa makes landfall, with 3 to 4 centimeters by the time the remnants get to Alice Springs. Those remnants will continue to work southeast along a cold front, which will kill the storm but also help to kind of juice up the atmosphere and focus its moisture late week into the weekend. Of course, we are watching this around the clock and we'll have updates nonstop. Keep it tuned to MyRadar on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and right here in the MyRadar app. Follow My Radar on social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.